Before being able to discover and understand abnormalities of the lumbar spine on MRI, you first have to be able to recognize normal anatomy on these images. So let's dedicate this first video to reviewing normal anatomy. These lower images are sagittal views. In other words, they're looking from this side. And if I show you the patient's umbilicus, then you can see this is their anterior here, posterior back here. And as I click on these, I'm going to the left, to the right. You just go back and forth that way. And you can look at this reference line. You see it come to the left here go to the right there so that you know where you are. Same way in these axial views, I can click on these and you see the reference line ascend the spine or I can click back down and see the reference line go down to keep you oriented. So this is a vertebral body here, here, and here. This is an inferior end plate here and a superior end plate here and in between is the intervertebral disc. The bright or hyper intense part in the middle is the nucleus pulposus and the dark or hypo intense periphery is the annulus fibrosis. The annulus fibrosis should be nice and flat with the back edge of the bone and if that's the case then it's just going to be a nice flat line all the way down the spine. Each disc should get a little bit thicker than the one before with one exception being L5S1 it can be a little bit more thin. The posterior longitudinal ligament is normally snug up against the bone and difficult to recognize unless there's an abnormality. Same way with the anterior longitudinal ligament uh, here. As we make our way posterior you can see the pedicle of the bone here and then superior articular process, inferior articular process, in between is pars interarticularis. And if I go more to the midline, you can see lamina here, lamina, and then here's spinous process, spinous process. Superficial from that is the supraspinous ligament. Here's interspinous ligament. And then this is ligamentum flavum here. Deep to that is going to be fat and this epidural fat or the epidural space and then we encounter a membrane that you see best here and that's dura and arachnoid of the thecal sac. Once we enter the thecal sac then we can see spinal cord here, the tip of the spinal cord is the conus medullaris here and then the nerve roots that come you know, descend from that is the cauda equina. You see them on the posterior aspect of the thecal sac because the patient's laying on their back and gravity pulls them that way. Anterior from that is this this bright that you see is spinal fluid. And if I get off to one side, you can see individual nerve roots as they're making their way toward their, neuro, toward their neural foramen. Here's an example of a neural foramen here. The anterior aspect of the, of the neural foramen is made up of end plate and disc. The posterior aspect is made up of facet joint. If I come over here, you can see an example of a nerve root sheath exiting the neural foramen and, and the nerve roots are inside there or the spinal nerve. Now on these axial images this is the anterior of the spine, posterior of the spine, this is right, this is left, this is the annulus fibrosis here and the bright part in the middle is the nucleus pulposus. Notice that the annulus fibrosus is rather concave on its posterior aspect which is nice because it makes the central canal more rounded, more roomy for these nerves to get on down the back and not be pinched. This is spinal fluid, the bright part uh, anteriorly. These are the nerve roots down below. And as I click on these images and, and make my way inferior, you can see the pairs of nerve roots make their way toward their neural foramina. Other anatomy to be seen, you can see facet joint here. The gray is the cartilage of the joint. The dark is the subchondral bone of the joint. This is ligamentum flavum. This is lamina, lamina, with the, you know, this is the right lamina, the left lamina, this is the spinous process here. If we look at this slice, then you can see the bright is um, epidural fat, so this is all epidural space. And then you see a uh, nerve root sheath right here, and the nerve roots are inside.